This is Leila from Radakat. I'm going to show you how we can create a bot service with Q&A Maker inside uh, Power BI. Um, so we are going to see how to create Q&A Maker, then how to create a bot service, and then how to embed that one in Power BI service to uh, do some Q&A over there. Just a notation that uh, we have a Power um agent inside a uh, power platform that's kind of follow the same thing uh, but still we're not able to embed it in power bi so uh, hopefully in future we have that but before it's come so i think it's an alternative way to create a bot framework and bot service we use a simple q a maker and that embedded inside power bi to do that, you need to navigate to Q&A Maker website. So first of all, the process is that we create a Q&A Maker uh, that uh, have our frequent asked questions that can come uh, from a file or from some website. And then uh, based on that, we create a bot service that has a channel and it gives you an embedded code through that that you can put it into Power BI service as a tile. So let's go and navigate to Q&A Maker. So uh, you need to go to Q&A Maker.ai. Let me put it in the note here. So you need to go to Q&A Maker.ai and log in with a uh, Microsoft portal Azure that you have subscription and you're able to create, create Q&A Maker and bot service over there and you need to sign in through that after you sign in now uh, you can access it in my knowledge base so we are going to create a knowledge base over there uh, you can see your previous knowledge base over here uh, as i don't have i'm going to create a new one so to create a new one first of all you need to create a q a service uh, we are going to create uh, when you click on the create a new Q&A service is navigate you to the portal.azure and uh, connect you through the portal. So the good thing is about that is actually connected to that services and you can use it. So here uh, now you can uh, do that. I use the resource group. I call it bot Q&A PBI service. Uh, service and uh, I use the free one uh, and uh, also free tile for the Azure search uh, for the rest uh, I, I, uh, I don't need the AP inside because it's give me the inside of the app I don't need that so I'm going to review and create so it means it's okay so I'm going to create so after creation you can click and go to resource so it's created now we back to the q a maker website uh, we want to connect our knowledge base that we are going to create here to our q a maker in a step two so uh, we are going to connect through that just make sure that you are in a, a correct uh, azure data fact uh, kind of the login so we are going you need to select your subscription over here so you need to wait till it's uh, finding out then choose your services uh, over here. It's, uh, sometimes it take a bit time to create your service. You may see the message that your endpoint not available. So uh, you need to wait till it's uh, fully deployed or you can refresh your browser. So in this scenario, now you are going to select the bot framework that you created and in the next step you can choose the language so the culture or the language that in this scenario i use english in the next one we are going to put and to create a, a knowledge base to actually import some of the uh, frequent asked questions that we have in the next step i'm going to get a uh, frequent ask question for a travel agency that I have here so we're back to here and we put it as a travel agency 
and we are going to import that one you can import it via the link or via actually add a url or add a file so just make sure that it actually when you put it here does make sure there is no uh, typo over here and in the next step uh, because we are going to add a cheat chat for that so i put it as a professional and now we uh, kind of uh, okay to create our knowledge base so uh, as you can see the knowledge base has been created there are some questions over here and the related answer also you can add similar one so for example alternative uh, phrasing and also the other so for example uh, for some question like opening hours you can set what time you what time open what time you are open sorry my bad english so i just put it there and this is the one so we add one or for example i want to add a q and a, a set for for example hi so when i said hi or if i said they said hey or morning and in the answer we said hello so that's a uh, way that you can add alternative so now you kind of create there so let's save and train so it take a minute to save and train you can test it here so we said hello or um, go move station so it's actually bring that so that's all good so we happy about that uh, now we are going to uh, publish it so when you're going to publish it is going to be used in um, in we can use it in a bot framework so i'm going to publish it so uh, here you can use it in uh, other application yourself or you can create a bot framework through that so i'm going to create so click on create a bot framework is navigate me to my microsoft portal and i'm able to create a bot framework that use the q a and the knowledge base that i'm created in uh, q a maker so same i'm going to uh, kind of use that one use the free one put a name but framework for power bi service i just put it that uh, no application inside i need and hope is good so let's create that oh okay i need to put a, a name but frame um Power BI. And create. So it's a start to deploy it. It may be uh, take a couple of minutes to create. So we need to wait till it's created. So it's already created. Uh, we can test it for now to see that how it work. So I go to the channel in the left side and I'm going um, to see that how it's work also I can test in the web chat first to see that how it's work so it's going to be connected to that Q&A maker so at the bottom of the page we are going to test it Set. so it's totally connected now i'm going to embed it into power bi so first of all let me show you my power bi so i'm going to one of the my workspace that i have i'm going to for example one of the dashboard that i have is not relevant to that one but it still is uh one of them that i have so that's a previous example that we have uh, in inside power bi service you can add different tiles so you're able to add a different tile by clicking on edit and add a tile and here you have the option name web content in other side uh, if you look at the 
uh, connected to a channel we have the option web chat so uh, if you click on edit uh, under that you will see we have an embedded code that in the html and we have a secret key so what i'm going to in, going to do so i copy the embedded code the bot framework and i'm going to open a, a sim actually in here just make this font smaller so i can fit everything so i'm going to put that iframe over here and as you can see we need to put the secret uh actually secret key over there i just control a control c to make sure it's uh, perfectly copy and paste and now i'm going to copy this one and paste it inside my power bi service so i'm going to add the web content over here uh, i put the embedded code and i call it um uh, um travel agency chat and um, you can actually set the custom uh, link or whatever and just click on apply and you can create a mobile one but however you can see is appear here so i say hi and talking about an accommodation um, talking about insurance how it work so you can see actually it's totally connected over here and i can use my bot framework and q a maker and frequent ask question over in my dashboard and in my actually report uh, i hope you like it thanks so much for